Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to Holly and Sophie, I'm going to be doing another British taste test. So let's get started. I'm struggling to hold everything. I've usually got Tim here to help me, but Tim won't be in today's taste test. First up, I'm going to try this one here. And this one actually used to be one of my favorite things to get. And it's a sherbet fountain. We did used to get these here in Australia. I have not seen them for a long time. I suspect we don't get them here anymore. Now Barrett's make this and what does a sherbet fountain involve? Well it's sherbet. There's also a thing of licorice in it. I don't know why they call it a fountain. I used to love these as a kid. I used to think they were such great value. It opens, oh yeah, pretty easily. Oh this is exciting. Now I think when I was a kid they used to actually have it so it stuck out the top there and probably got exposed to the world and was probably very dangerous and poisonous at the time but we didn't worry about those things back when I was a kid now it's a whole new world welcome so inside as you can see there's the sherbet and there's the licorice as well this actually feels a little bit hard I don't remember it feeling this hard I can't get it I can't my fingers used to be smaller okay so I'm just going to sort of try and pull this licorice out gosh this could get awkward and oh no yeah no it, it wasn't like this when I was a kid. I think what's happened, actually I don't know what's happened, I'm going to guess what's happened though, is that air or something's sort of gotten into here and the sherbet's gotten a little bit hard. But the idea is that you pull the licorice stick out, I might just try and yank it out, wait this could get ugly and uh, it's not coming out. <laughs> I'll twist it a little bit, that might help. No, I've got great plans and ideas here, but none of it's helping. I'm just gonna push down on the sherbet at the same time and pull this. It is gradually making its way loose. It's exciting, isn't it? Oh yes, I've got it. Wow, well done. Far out, it's a mess in here, but look. So you can pull this out and then you lick the licorice, which um, I don't remember the licorice being this hard when I was a kid, probably was though. And then you stick it in here so you can eat the sherbet. Mm. And the problem is though, you've got to resist that temptation to eat the licorice before you have the sherbet because otherwise you've got no way to eat it but go like this. And that was quite often what I used to do when I was a kid. Let me know in the comments below. Is that how you did it? You got tempted to eat this and then you ended up tipping it up and spilling it all over yourself. <laughs> but this is actually a really fun, fun thing to eat. It reminds me so much of when I was a kid and I loved these. I still do love it. The sherbet's really sweet. Mm. The licorice is more on the sweet side rather than the really serious adult, I mean business licorice, but I really do like it. Yum! Mm -hmm. It's just so fun. Kind of got it all over myself. Worth it. Skinny Whip, and this is a strawberry flavoured one. It says it's 99%, no, it doesn't say that. It's 99 something, 99 calories. Is that per bar? So I suppose it's supposed to be better for you. Is this some sort of a diet product? I'm not really sure. So what I'm looking for from this is it to taste just as amazing as a normal treat, because that's what you want when you see something that says Skinny Whip. We want it to be just as good as a regular thing. So we're tempted by this. Oh, there it is. It looks quite promising. Look at that milk chocolate on the outside. That's not the skinny part, obviously. The strawberry part is. I'll break it in half to show you. Oh goodness, it's got some stretch in it. I can't break it in half easily. The table is very, very messy today. Oh gosh. Whoopsie. You got no idea. Oh, it smells amazing. I like that it's not bright pink, which gives me hope that it's more natural. This has nuts in it as well, I think. All right. Oh, oh, it's quite chewy. Mmm, it's yummy. Yes, it's good. Mmm, it's a strawberry flavored nougat in the middle. It's got a nuttiness about it, a nutty flavor in there. Mmm, the strawberry flavor in here isn't particularly strong, but it's still very nice. It has got that hint of strawberry in it, lovely nougat something i would definitely eat again and i wouldn't say wow this is a low fat thing or a skinny whatever it's calling it skinny whip it's really tasty and that would definitely satisfy my sweet tooth craving now onto something that's definitely not skinny it's m m's and it's m m brownies i've never tried these before yes brownie i do love brownies i like the color of the packaging on this one that's exciting to me oh yeah, look at the size of these. Nice. Yeah, it smells like a brownie. Oh. Oh, I see what they've done. Mmm, mmm. It's got 
got that lovely candy crispy coating on the outside which is really sweet but then you bite into the middle of it and I was worried because I just thought is this just going to be chocolate then wouldn't that just be a normal M&M but what it is you bite into it and then there's chocolate but then in the middle of that there's like a stretchy brownie like substance in the middle of it I'm trying to show you without biting my own finger off <laughs> See the different layers in there? That is actually really exciting. I thought this might be quite meh, boring, but it's not. This is definitely an M&M that I would eat again. They're really sweet and tasty. Love them. And they do very much remind me of brownies. Very nice. On to something a little bit more serious. And this one is a naked Korean style barbecue ramen veg pot. So let's make this. On the cover here it says one of five a day and I guess that means vegetables. One of your five servings of vegetables a day because that's how many you're supposed to have I think. Look at me talking like I'm a nutritionist. So we peel this back. Oh it smells really quite spicy and there's some things in there which I like the look of. Bits of corn and stuff and then we fill it up with water and leave it for five minutes. Is that the line there? Wow lots of vegetables in there which is promising. I can see lots of beans. Cover that up, leave it for five minutes. I turn my camera back on and I realize I've got it on the close-up mode still for the noodles. So isn't this terrifying? It's like a horror movie, isn't it? Ah, ah. Sleep well tonight, my pretties. So it's been five minutes, so let's have a look at this. Another thing I notice is that it's 100% vegan friendly. So that's great, isn't it? Not that I'm vegetarian, but still, it's still good. Take the top off. The vegetables in here have actually become nicely hydrated. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a mix around. Beans and peppers and corn, lots of stuff in here. It looks like it's in a beef stock, but then why would it be it's vegetarian? It's probably just like a spicy, soupy stuff that's in it, I suppose. I like that it's really colorful. Look at all those pops of color from the different vegetables. Isn't that gorgeous? The noodles look like they're nicely cooked, so let's try it. So let's try, oh, it's hot. Shouldn't be a surprise, I've put boiling water in there, haven't I? I'm trying to get all the bits and pieces on my spoon here. It smells pretty good. Whoa. <laughs> you know what I like about this? It's nice and spicy. I love that aspect of it. Mmm. This is going to sound strange. I don't know if the corn belongs in there. I feel like it's gotten a little bit lost on the way to Mexico or something. And I don't really know if that belongs. The beans are okay in it. There's carrot as well which goes in it. And then the peppers go as well. Noodles are good. And then there's corn. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's just my thought on it. I feel like it adds that layer of sweetness to it which just um, isn't doing it for me I suppose. But I love the rest of the things in it. And yeah, this is a pretty good instant soup thing. Mmm, and it is quite spicy. Pretty good. Barrett's fruit salad. And I do actually think I've had these before. I don't know if I've had them in this form though. I think they were, um, it, that helping you? I think they were in a like larger packet or something. Individually wrapped little sweets. Let me show you. Whoops. So this is what they look like. Oh, goodness me, yes. See, they're two-toned. Isn't that pretty? Gosh, it's really hard to get all the paper off, isn't it? I guess when you are a fan of these, you probably just get quite used to eating just that little bit of paper, like a percentage-wise. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, actually, I like it. Mmm. Last time I tried these, I swear I don't remember liking them this much, but I really do like this. Have they changed the recipe? No, probably not. Mmm, it's very tasty. Yum! It's fruit salad, but it's not... <laughs> <laughs> Far out. It's a nice fruit salad flavor and not the fruits that you don't want in the fruit salad. Although I do like most fruits. There's not a fruit I don't like, I don't think. Oh, no, no, no. There is. Guava. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Is there any fruits that you just go, no, I don't like you. Yeah, very nice. This one's exciting. It's a savory snack. Smack. <laughs> 
stop it. Next one's exciting. It's a savory snack and it's a man, mano, mo, no, mano masa and it's chipotle and lime tortillas with spirit established in 2012. They're making it like it's an old year time date but that really wasn't that long ago. Oh maybe it was. Recipe number 24 very important it says it there on the bottom. The totopo with smoky chipotle chili and zingy lime with bell peppers, guajillo chili and toasted pumpkin seed. Well it's quite the description there. A gluten free, GMO free, blah blah. Do you really want me? Oh and they're vegan friendly too. Have a look. Oh they look good. They do. Oh look at the colour of these. Gorgeous. Oh. Oh you are. You really get the zing from the lime and then straight afterwards you get that smokiness. Very good. Mm. It's a nice crispy corn chip but then also not overly salted. Usually I'd object to that but when it comes to corn chips I quite like the zinginess of them and the smokiness of them. The flavours in this is very good so I don't really care if they're not that salty. Tasty, I like them. Very nice. This one looks like it's another good for you snack. I'm not sure if it is. It's called Go Ahead Fruity Cake Bites. Raspberry and strawberry flavoured. Interesting. Oh yeah, look, 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 look. It, maybe this is just not healthy. Maybe it's just that the packaging seems healthy. It says 97 calories. So I'm guessing that's in all, in all that pack. But 97 calories isn't that much. You'd burn that off pretty quickly, wouldn't you? Just being a mad person. Oh. Oh, have a look at these. Aren't they adorable? Oh my goodness. You don't know until you really have a good look at them. You can see the strawberry raspberry stuff in the middle there. Mm -hmm. The flavour on these is excellent. It's really good. They've got that nice bit of sweetness that the strawberries, raspberry bring, but also then it's got that bit of tartness to the table as well. To the table. What does that mean? I don't know. They're quite moorish little bites and I like that they're tiny. I like the size of these ones. If that was just a big old cake, I wouldn't be as excited. I would feel that I was somehow ripped off and that it was dry and weird. But on this one, though it's not super moist or anything, there's enough moisture in there. And then with the balance of that filling in the middle, it's nice. I don't know what else to tell you. It's just nice. The vanilla cakey like thing on the outside is quite nice. Very good. Now this next one I'm really excited about. When I saw this in the package I thought this is going to be something I'm going to love. These are from Taste the Difference. They're dark chocolate and stem ginger cookies. All butter recipe enrobed with Belgian dark chocolate. Stem ginger. They couldn't just say dark chocolate and ginger cookies could they? No stem ginger. Got a little explanation on the side there of what they're about and that's why you can taste the difference. Got a thing there to open them. Oh, they feel quite heavy. That's impressive. Yeah, they feel really, really quite weighty. And one, two, three, oh, good, eight. You get eight of them in a pack. Oh, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Did you see that? That was a Tamaclips. Don't look directly at it. I'm going to break this in half and show you the middle. Oh, no, I can't. Oh yes, that looks amazing. Oh, you can smell that ginger straight away. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are crunchy, they're decadent. You can really taste those ginger stems all the way through it. Then the chocolate on the outside is really good quality, that dark chocolate, and oh my goodness, these are really luxurious cookies, biscuits. Um, oh, hello. I've got a bit of ginger stuck in the back of my teeth. It's part of its beauty, I think. I love this one. I tried some Taste of Difference cookies before and I like them, and I'm not disappointed with this flavour either. They are gorgeous. Yum! Okay eating it. Wow what an amazing selection. Thank you so much Holly and Sophie. I really do appreciate you sending all these treats from the UK. Quite jealous that we don't get some of these here I have to admit. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Holly and Sophie because without them this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.